you by TCNJ, the college in New Jersey, who have been holding it down for the Jersey Collegiate Smash team for so long. This is a little bit of comeuppance for them and the work that they've put in, and really just goes to show you what kind of a name that King is as we kick off top eight, Pokemon Stadium, game number one, Myron in action against Rivers. And this is a character that uh, Rivers has had a little bit of trouble with in the past. Yeah, it's interesting to think about that because I do remember way back in the early stages of this game, uh, the great Gonzalez, local New Jersey uh, top player, did actually yep. main Olimar, as well as Honks Powers, who's been playing this character for quite some time, two Jersey residents. So it's funny to mm -hmm. think that Rivers might not, you know, be too akin to this matchup considering he's got like those players at home. But hey, th this ain't no average Olimar that we're talking about. This is Myron, of course, one of the greatest ones in the biz with amazing wins under his belt. So if there was ever a time to like show a true test of Rivers adaptation to this matchup it would be now and not to mention i mean every now and then whenever we are graced at platinum star with the presence of the buzz that was certainly a uh, problem problematic thing uh, well to be fair rivers not exactly alone in their uh, problems with uh, dealing with the galaxy brain one himself but yeah monkey flip not going to find the mark and again myron making them harder to grab onto than a bar of soap in the bathtub and that's kind of how you want to play this matchup and uh, really is a matter of who is able to tag who first. And of course, those purple pigment are going to hit about as hard as a bar of soap with two of them on deck right now. Mm. But it's not going to hit as hard as the monkey fist. Two in the face, right in the dome, cracking that helmet. Rivers is going to take the first stock with that clean forward smash confirmed right in the center of the stage. Looking pretty good against the Olimar legend right now. Unless this back throw edge guard will be able to end that play slowly but surely. I Yo, that was slick. All right, Ooh. I love that movie. He baited him with that pigment toss. Absolutely genius stuff. And yeah, that's exactly what you're uh, looking for if you're Myron. It's like, no, I mean, I'm going to put you in the absolute worst, uh, worst spot and make you look foolish. And it is not easy to make Rivers look like a dummy in this game. Myron, uh, I wouldn't say dummy is the exact right word, but it's something close to it. Myron really trying to take the school here. Yeah, Hazmat hasn't exactly made the, you know, has making Rivers look foolish video yet. That one, that's an exclusively a Mars series that he's got over on his YouTube channel. But one day, I'm sure that'll, that'll come about. All the while series. This, yeah, it's a great series. I, I hope Netflix picks it up soon. As we said, all of this, mm. though, the game goes back to pretty much dead even Myron. As the slow crawl is one to do. It's Olimar, you know, he tacks on damage in the relatively slow way, just like he does in the Pinkman games. You know, throws the Pinkman on you, red Pinkman, yellow Pinkman, whatever, and it does that residual damage with the toss, mm. with the exception of the purple Pinkman. Rather than the solid damage of Diddy Kong back there, going to take the stock from Myron right now. River's taking the lead once again. Are you saying Pinkman? Because it sounds a little bit like Pink, like Jesse Pinkman <laughs> or something. <laughs> just a little bit. Also, if someone can Photoshop Jesse Pickman, that would be amazing. Uh, so we're going to get <laughs> Myron is going to catch out. <laughs> Myron's going to catch out Rivers for that last stock. Uh, yeah, press the button in the face. He didn't space it correctly, but then again, Myron kind of draws you into it. That false sense of security that you think you have. Uh, yeah, I said think there for a reason because. <laughs> Yeah, it's draw you into so many things. Rivers, however, taking everything in stride, beating them out with uh, some good old-fashioned buttons in the air. Yeah, but with all these up airs, man, that is Jesse Pickman trying to launch Diddy into the Skyler, to say the least, man. Diddy, of course, more akin to killing off of the side, like right here. No, is able to air dodge behind him for the forward smash dodge. This is an anybody's game right here towards the end. Only three minutes left on the clock. Myron trying to dodge a little bit forward to the back. Only two Pinkman on, so you know he's not going to have that much lag in the up B. But as I say that, the blue purple Pinkman comes back. Let's trump. Oh my god, this is very, very close for our first game of Top 8 Stew. I genuinely don't know who this is gonna who's gonna wind up taking this. I mean, it comes down to who gets the the hit first, and is Rivers going to commit to that button? And if so, what kind of uh, button is it going to be? Myron cannot afford to simply sit in shield. He might just get monkey grab for their trouble. Very well might be, but he's not going to need to do that on last stock if he's off the level right now. Rivers loves to take risks, but he would be wild to do something like that against an Olimar off the level. 
Instead, Myron is, of course, just going to try and regain stage control. Why approach when you have two purple Pinkmen on deck, throwing from the neutral center stage? Definitely not giving that up for anything, unless Diddy retakes Ooh. it with the barrel pack. This is a slobber knockers, dude. These guys are going back and forth, just trying to get one meaty hit. Neither of them, even with two purple Pinkmen and the rocket barrel pack, oh. are able to do it, but finally... The blue Jesse Pickman is going to take it, launching right back towards the left side of the blast zone. Myron with a very hard fought battle. That was just the first game, Stu. Oh, yeah, Lord. Absolutely. Yeah, and appropriately enough going with Jesse Pickman because right now Myron is cooking. You're seeing it right here and piling off just enough damage for that Pickman to kill from center stage on the back air. Myron uh, doing well, even though they were losing the first stocks and all those games, keeping themselves right in it. And you saw right there where uh, Rivers is going to take that last stock. Myron getting caught out above the ledge just a little bit. And yeah, that's where uh, that's where Rivers just needed one more of those, getting that advantage and connecting on the back air, just uh, winning the ledge. But yeah, when you're up at uh, 170, survivability is not exactly the easiest proposition on the planet. So definitely sympathize for Rivers there. But as for Myron, it's a sort of meat and potatoes game one. They're not. A, they wouldn't say that they play super stylishly, but what they do is extremely effective. And mm -hmm. something to be said about uh, the efficacy of one's gameplay. Yeah. No El Mono Loco here. It's just classic Diddy and Olimar gameplay for you. You don't need the style if what you have is working, man. The style comes later when you're bodying somebody so hard with the basic stuff that you realize you can afford to do something else, like that 0 to 66 combo from Myron immediately. Oh my god, right out the gate with what Olimar is known for with these insane Pikmin strings. Already almost off the top with the purple Pikmin and only 30% left on Myron. This is already looking like his first stock to oh lose to. Oh my. Up to the sky, man. Woo. In and then that Olimar final smash. Yeah, no, immediately just comes right out with it. And you saw it. I mean, only now has Rivers uh, really matched the total from Myron's, like, very opening gambit. You know, 66% right out the gate. And that is how Olimar will get you. Is that death by a thousand cuts where they just stick the Pikmin on you and you have no choice but to just kind of hold it. And your All your effort is put into getting that thing off of you. And that's if, even if you do not have the technical skill that Myron does, you're uh, generally in a uh, you're generally in a bad situation though. Rivers will make it up with the relatively little damage, 44% on that uh, before taking that first stop. Yeah, and to echo on your statement right there, I wholeheartedly agree. Fighting Olimar, it's kind of like a mini Ice Climbers in a sense. Just like with Ice Climbers, you need to know your character's best way to get rid of Nana. You need to know that your character's quickest and best option to get those pink men off you. Whatever the biggest hitbox is, whatever the quickest hitbox out is, or most powerful. But Diddy, that neutral air is very, very effective at doing that. It's a good combo starter, so it's generally the kind of move that has a very big and quick hitbox perfect for taking out those pinkmen on top of you so you see you're gonna see rivers doing that a lot in order to get these pinkmen off of you um, not when that purple is in the fray though that time he might just have to hold the trigger button a little harder gonna keep on operating here nevertheless myron up one mil in this set and it was definitely not for a lack of effort on rivers's part who has brought this all the way back and taken two successive stocks to find themselves with a slight lead however this is about the percentage where, I mean, any sort of stray hit, especially with that uh, with that purple bull lumen, that's uh, never not going to be too good. However, River is taking that fully in stride. And just what do you do to win the game? I don't know. I just win neutral always, I guess. <laughs> I suppose so. Or I'll just throw out my little win neutral buttons for me. As you can tell, Myron is doing right now, trying very hard to be able to take this stock. Olimar is absolutely amazing at racking up all that damage. But when it comes out to closing out that stock, it's gonna all that's going to matter at the end of the day is that Pinkman management. You're going to want to see when he gets those purple Pinkman out and if he's even going to be able to get them out for the hitboxes in time before he gets up smash. That second game, though, not the case. River's able to clutch that one back from behind, especially after that insane damage string at the beginning of the game, which you already saw right here with that replay. Oh my god, little melee movement. Wave dashing towards the center of the stage, trying to mix up Rivers a little bit, especially with those purple mm -hmm. pinkmen on deck to get that damage once again. Yeah. 
So yeah, that was three successive stocks that we have seen, just saw from Nevermore Rivers. Again, you know, the Jersey icon, if I do say so. And that's, uh, this maybe, you know, maybe they're in Florida as is, uh, as is Myron, ironically enough, but oh, yeah. yeah, this is, uh, this is still their home turf. This is like the college of New Jersey rivers has been to these tournaments before shown out at Kings in the past, along with all the other tri-state, uh, with all the other tri-state grades. Now, as we go to town and city for game number three, going to have to prove that those three successive stocks that they took in game two, uh, was no fluke. Myron, well, now they have something to prove, and the wind condition for Rivers is very clear here, especially on this uh, long, elongated stage of TNC. Gotta get those, uh, you really do have to work around this. This is like a bullet hell for Rivers, basically. Ooh. Ooh, red twice in the middle for that 50 damage string. Beautiful stuff. Look, all I'm saying is that this is Florida connecting to Florida. Better not see no lag checks in the middle of the set. That's all I'm saying. And if it does, mm. then for God's sakes, Nintendo fix your game. Looking like pretty clean right now, though, for town and city this time around. A big favorite of Ooh. Rivers with that wow. forward smash, taking that stock immediately. He is quite the fan of this stage. He has said that on record plenty of times. He's beaten amazing players on this stage, such as the likes of Dark Wizzy, just to name one off the top of my head as I'm referencing an offline event right there as we talk about regionals in New Jersey. But now he's dealing with Myron on Wi-Fi, playing who is... Little bit of a Wi Fi character on deck, so it's a true test of Rivers' patience dealing with a character like this. But hey, Rivers has been playing in these Wi Fi tournaments for quite some time, especially in DNA.exe every single week. So this is just a true, this is just another testament to him. Yeah, both of these characters experiencing quite a bit of success on Wi Fi, but you cannot call these two Wi Fi warriors Rivers, who's top aided so many PGR events, and of course, Myron, who has won one themselves, lest we forget their, uh, their grand victory at pound but that's uh i mean a couple patches ago maybe a couple nerfs to olimar you don't find exactly the same success that does not matter their skill has not gone away the technical oh! aptitude is there and the ability to strike when needed the killer instinct never leaves you nintunist oh my god i just i truly as a mere mortal cannot comprehend how thick myron's brain is the, he, the blue Pinkman still stuck on that middle town and city platform, and he's able to grab him from below it. You saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Rivers, one of his own favorite stages, working against him right there in some of the greatest Olimar tech that I personally, as a commentator in my six years plus of experience, have ever seen. This is how you know this guy is a true master of his character, to say the very least. Myron, with one oh, stock away and already with something to prove, one, oh no, this was a best of three, that's a W. My mistake. Wow, that's Myron taking it over Rivers then instead. What do you know about that, Stu? Wow. We'll take a look at this play once again here. Forward smash, off the side. Town and city, man. Honestly, such a polarizing stage for this kind of matchup, especially. Olimar can definitely kill off the top. It's going to be, and you'd think it would be a little harder there, but he got the right Pinkman there at the right time. That play was so crazy. If he meant to do that, he's a legend. And if not, then I don't know. That's just him capitalizing on his, like, that's just him capitalizing on himself as my good buddy Stu, unfortunately, dipping out for a little bit here. I do believe he is having a little bit of Wi-Fi.